Think about having boys, though, you know. <laughs> I realize having boys, I'm the one who has to give them the talk when they get to that age. I don't know how long that lasts. Like, I don't know if I'm going to have to wait until he's... We can't wait until, like, when our parents waited, when you're, you know, hitting puberty and that, 13, 14 year old, your dad's looking at you, walking around, knocking stuff over. He's like, I gotta talk before he hurts somebody with that thing, you know? <laughs> Now kids got internet, they learn stuff way too quick. You gotta sit them down and tell them what's what, and you gotta be delicate, you know? Because they're gonna be young, you gotta be delicate, you gotta be son. <sighs> you're gonna reach a point in your life where you're gonna start to have certain feelings towards girls. Now, when men and women have these feelings towards each other, they share a special kind of hug. <laughs> now, sometimes after that hug, a baby will show up. <laughs> and then you're gonna find you don't get to hug so much anymore after that. <laughs> Just be home alone in the dark, hugging yourself thinking about that girl at work who's always giving you the hug me eyes and <laughs> I just like to hug her all night you know what I mean <sighs> all right you go finish watching deer hunter daddy's gonna be in his tent <laughs> I don't miss don't get me wrong I don't miss being single I don't miss that life you know when I was a single uh, dude I'd go, I'd go on dates I mean I went on a date with this girl I met through friends which people always say that's the best way that's how you, that's the, you meet somebody through friends, you avoid the crazies. Your friends don't care if you date their crazy friends and want them off their hands for the night. <laughs> so I met this girl, she seemed cool. We go for dinner, we have a good time, then we go for drinks afterwards. She starts drinking uh, Cosmopolitans, which, uh, yeah, it, lo it looks like Kool-Aid, but it's almost pure alcohol. Yeah. So she has like 11 of these things. She's a wreck, I gotta take her home. I wheel her back to her place, walk her to the door. I'm like, hey, I had a good time, I'll call you. We'll go for uh, lunch or something, you lush. Um, she goes, hi! You know, come inside and see my bedroom? And I'm like, I don't know, you know, I, I really shouldn't. <laughs> so we get there, she grabs me, <laughs> drags me into the bedroom, throws me down on the bed, jumps on top of me. She's like, I'm gonna ride you like. <laughs> <laughs> Passes out. So now I'm looking at her thinking, I just spent like $180 getting this girl drunk. <laughs> really shouldn't waste this opportunity. So I'm loading her TV into my trunk. 